everyone. If you are an online store owner, being able to import products to your WooCommerce store is one important step. Adding products one by one can be very lengthy process taking away all your time. Now from a business point of view, losing all your time on one single thing can be a big disadvantage for your business. Thus in today's video, let me show you how you can import products to WooCommerce with ease. I'm Aparna Singh from LearnVoo and let's get started. Well, assuming that you already have WordPress website set up and the WooCommerce installed, let's move to the further steps. However, if you haven't done it yet, click the link to a video mentioned in the description that will give you a complete guide on how to set up a WooCommerce store on a WordPress website. Now for importing the products, there are two ways you can go about it. Either you can use the built-in product CSV imported to WooCommerce or you can install a third-party plugin. First, let's see how you can import products to WooCommerce using the built-in product CSV importer. Well, a CSV or a comma separated values file is a delimited text file that uses a comma to separate values. Each line of the file is a data record and each record consists one or more fields separated by commas. Thus, first let's see how you can create a CSV file containing all of your product information. Well, if you have an existing online store, you can simply export your entire product catalog as a pre-filled CSV file. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, products, all products, and then export. Choose the columns according to your requirement. Once done, click generate CSV. And your CSV file will be downloaded in no time. However, if you're starting from scratch and don't have your product uploaded anywhere, you can begin by creating an Excel SX file using the Microsoft Excel. Title the columns based on the product information you want to display. A few important columns are as such. You'll need the following columns. First is the type, that is for the type of the product. SKU, that is for stock keeping unit. Name of the product, description, short description, regular price, sales price, category of the product and images. Now depending on what you need, there may be many more columns in your CSV file. After you have filled out your columns, you can save the file in CSV format. However, you can speed up this process by downloading our template of the CSV file here. While filling out the CSV file, make sure you follow a few guidelines. Click the link mentioned in the description to read an article to know more about the guidelines you need to follow. Now once you have your CSV file, let's start with the first method to import the products to WooCommerce which is by using the built-in feature. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, click on the products tab, on the next screen, click on import to get started. Now click on the choose file button and select the CSV file from your system. Enable the update existing products option if you want to update the existing product details with the new information like putting a sale price or changing a tax class. Well, I would suggest you to do that so that if there is a product in your CSV file that has a similar SKU or product ID, its information is automatically updated in this case. However, in the advanced options, you can even enter the part to retrieve the products from a CSV file that you have on your server. Next, you can specify a CSV delimiter. Once done, click continue. In the next step, that is mapping your columns, WooCommerce automatically attempts to match the column names in your CSV to its existing fields. If you used our template, you would face no issues during this step. However, you can use the drop down menus on the right side to adjust fields or tell WooCommerce not to import a field entirely. And this is how you can do that.
Once done with the column mapping, run the importer and wait for the import to be finished. It might take some time if there are plenty of products. Once it's imported, you'll get a message of it's done. The built-in importer for products works just fine, but if you want more flexibility, you can use the product import export for WooCommerce plugin. First, let's install the plugin. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, search import export products. Once the plugin appears, click on install. And once installed, click on activate. After installing and activating it, you can see a new tab named Web Toffee Import Export is created in your WordPress dashboard. Now go to that plugin tab and select import. Next, as a first step, you'll be asked to select the post type that you want to import. Select the products from the drop down menu. Now select step 2 option mentioned in the bottom and you'll be directed to the step 2 to select the import method. From here on, the process is quite similar to using the built-in WooCommerce importer. Select the import method. You'll get two options, quick import and advanced import. Here I'll be selecting advanced import since we are focusing on a more flexible way to import products. Next, select and upload a CSV file here. Choose a delimiter. Once done, click step 3 mentioned below. Here in this step, map your columns. Select the product fields you want to be included and select its file columns from the drop down menu. You can also transform the columns by clicking the use expression icon here. With this plugin, the mapping of the columns is more flexible as you can see the fields are categorized into three fields default fields category tags, shipping class fields, and attributes fields. Make the selections according to your requirements. Once done, click step 4, advanced import option at the bottom. In this step, you'll get the advanced options as we had selected the advanced import method in step 2. Here, select whether you want to skip import of new products or not. This option will import the new products from the input file. Next, select whether you want to match products by their ID or SKU. Here, select whether you want to skip or update the product if it already exists in the store. And here, select the batch in which you want your products to be imported. Once done with all these selections, click on Import. The Product Import Export plugin also comes with a premium version that boosts features like importing from an FTP server, support for all types of products and scheduled imports. Next, let's take a look at another plugin named Import Products from any XML or SSV to WooCommerce by SoFly. It is an ultimate WordPress data import and export solution. Now, this plugin supports various file formats, file sizes, and file structures. Moreover, it is even compatible with custom plugin and theme fields. First, install the plugin. The link to the plugin is given in the description. After installing and activating it, an All Import tab is created in your WordPress dashboard. Go to New Import. Here you can upload a file from the system or upload a file by choosing one via URL or FTP. Or you can also import products using an already uploaded file. But to do that, you would need premium version of this plugin. Thus here I'm uploading a CSV file from the system. Select new items, select WooCommerce products from the drop down menu and once done click continue to step 2. Here in step 2 first select the delimiter. This page shows the total number of rows that will be imported and allows you to edit it separately. Click an element to select it or scroll down to add filtering options. Once done with all the changes click continue to step 3. 
On the step 3 page, you can effectively design the front end of your product pages using the drag and draw functionality. Below that, you'll find an exact replica of WooCommerce's built-in product adding page. So you'll be able to add products in no time. As a cherry on top, it supports custom fields, categories and many more options. You can access even more advanced features like in-depth image upload and management options in WP All Imports premium plans. However, since we are using the free one, once you're done with all the changes, click continue to step four. In fourth step, enter a unique detector or you can also auto detect it. Next, ensure you keep two options selected. One is create new products from records newly present in your file. And the second is update existing products with changed data in your file. Now this will ensure that there are no duplicate products created. However, that entirely depends on your requirements. You can also select the scheduling option if you are using the downloading URL option to upload a file or using the existing file option. In this step, you can also configure the advanced settings according to your requirements. Once you have configured all the settings, click continue. And the products will get imported. And that's all. This is how you can import products to WooCommerce in two simple ways. Do let us know in the comment section which method worked for you the best. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get updates on more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video.